Hello. Hello, Nehemias, Lina, Rosie. Good evening, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Hi, Lina. I'm fine. Okay, I'm Hi. glad. Are you in your house? No. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. What time did you get there? ¿A qué horas llegó? What time did you get home? Oh, perdón, <laughs> sorry. It's Ay, okay. Como a las siete y media. <laughs> ah, okay. Por eso todavía no se ha podido cambiar. <laughs> Que me puse a cenar también, entonces me quedé aquí uh -huh. cómoda. Okay. Give me one moment. Solo voy a cargar eso. Ok, sorry. Se me apaga la cámara cuando no tiene carga. Ok, but now I'm back. Ok, hello Katia. There's no light where you are. Se ha ido la electricidad. Mm. Desde que vine no hay. Ah, ok. Ahí me Pero el, puedo en, estar así. Esto. Ajá. How is your battery life? ¿Qué tal está la batería? Todavía tiene. 80%. Ah, yeah. oh, ok. Ok, it survives. You're going to still have <laughs> at the end of the class. Um, guys, I'm going to start by taking the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance first and, and then we, we continue. Just give me one moment. Okay, so we start with Daisy Yesenia. No? Doris de Castaneda. Iris Joanna. Jennifer Marcela. Uh, Jose Mario. Katia Gabriela. Present. Okay, thank you, Katia. Um, then Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Minette Present. Rivera. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, then uh, Mia's Regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto, Nelson René, Rafael Antonio, René Guardado. Present. Thank you, Rina Espinosa. Present. Thank you, Rina. Present. Rosy, Rosy Meléndez. Present. Okay, Vladimir Rodas, Yanira Cepeda. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you, Jenny. Hi, teacher. Surma. Surma Lopez. Hello, Rafa. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, welcome to the class. Nice to see you all. Okay, so guys, we will continue with the activity we studied last week on Friday. Do you remember the acronym that you were creating, but we couldn't finish because of the time? Okay, so if you finish the acronym, you can share it with the class. If you haven't, you can finish it. Vamos a continuar con la actividad que dejamos pendiente el viernes del acrónimo. Si lo tienen, lo pueden compartir con la clase. Y si no, lo pueden continuar, lo pueden terminar. Okay, so Nehemias, I remember you finish, right? Besides Nehemias, is there anybody else? No sé si había alguien más aparte de Nehemias. Ajá, ok, Nehemias. No, todos estaban. Si no les explico cómo lo que estábamos haciendo. Vladimir, were you here? Estaba aquí cuando hablábamos de eso. Yes. Marisela, también, ¿verdad? Marisela, no. She doesn't hear me. Ok, Yanni, eh, what about you? Si sí estaba aquí, Yanni, cuando hablamos de eso. Sí. Sí. Ajá, ok. Entonces, ¿no hay nadie que no sepa? No. Ok, so I'll give you a moment so you can create your acronym. 
And when you finish, you can share it with us. Uh, okay, Rafa, this activity is about you. I'm going to explain it here on the whiteboard. You have to write your name in a vertical way, like this, Rafael, but in a vertical way. Next, you have to tell us, um, give like a description about the way you are. Luego tiene que, utilizando las letras de su nombre, hablar de cómo es usted. Por ejemplo, algo que empiece con R que lo describa. ¿Qué podría ser? Y hay que pensar. Y luego otra que vaya con A, que me describa o en su caso que lo describa. Por ejemplo, um, athletic, athletic, wait, oh my God, ok, athletic, si fuera atlético y va con su nombre, ahí tenemos una, athletic, entonces eso es lo que debe hacer con todas las letras. Okay, so is there anybody okay, ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Nehemias, can you can you read yours again? I'm just going to put it here. Yeah. Plus. Dicto? Uh-huh, yes. I'm not uh, going to type, type them, but yes, please read them. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, novels. Mm -hmm. uh, AC, is he going? Is he going? Uh, handsome. Mm -hmm. Efficient uh, man, man, uh, important art and service. Uh huh, correct. Just with the one you said, efficient, that is efficient. That efficient. is the, the pronunciation. Uh huh, efficient. Yeah. Okay, Nemias. Thank you. Katia. Are you ready, Katia? Finish, teacher. You finish. Okay, Rosy, let me just type your name here and then you, you say the way you are. Okay, Rosy. Please continue. Continue. Um, responsible obli mm -hmm. obliging. Esa no sé si se pronuncia. And what do you mean? Obliging. Servicial. Pero la puede mandar en el chat. 
But continue. Yo se lo voy a mandar. Voy Ajá. a seguir con los demás. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Serious, mm -hmm. intelligent Ajá. y efic efficient. Efficient. Ajá. Ok, Rosy, thank you. And yes, send it by chat and I will check the pronunciation. Thank you. Let's see, Vladimir, are you ready? Not teach. No, 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 not yet. Rene, and you? Are you done, Rene? Checking. Can you just one second. I remember that I, we do this last week. Uh -huh. right? Yeah, be, but we didn't finish. So that is why we're okay. sharing them. But you don't have it. Okay, I have, have it, it here. So ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I have it here. So it's receptive energetic, novel, and experienced. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Rene. So we got sure. that one. Katia, ready? Um, sí, sobre, solo que la Y, y uh, uh -huh. no sé si está Ah, bien. okay. Uh -huh. What do you have? Okay. Um, Okay. K kind. A attentive. T thankful. Mm -hmm. H honest. Y young. Mm -hmm. A um, esta no sé cómo se pronuncia. Access, accessible. 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 Aha. Okay, Katia, there you go. Thank you. Uh, let me see, Jani, are you ready, Jani, to share your, your acronym? Hola, teacher, eh, solo tengo tres, la Y no, no tengo idea. <laughs> okay. eh, tengo A, attention, la I, intelligent, mm -hmm. la Athletic. Athletic. Ah, okay. You like to do exercise. Okay. Sounds cool. Okay. En la de attention puede ser attentive. Si es como de atenta, attentive. Attentive. Ajá. Okay. Okay, Jenny, thank uh -huh. you. Okay. okay. Who else is ready? Hay alguien más ya listo? Ready? Yo te chat. Okay, Maricela. Let me just type your name here. Maricela. Okay. Go ahead. No hay una. Hay, tal vez unas no peguen, pero las voy a poner. Okay. Sí, Let's pues. see. One, número one, ten, bien. Modest. Mm -hmm. um, the, en la otra. No sé si es atenta o atenti. 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 Eh, other restless le puse. Rest, Repeat. Restless. Restless se escribe. Restless. No sé restless. restless. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, other intelligent. Um, other service. De servicial. Mm, hospitable. Mm, service. Escuché que vi que se Service. Escribe. Pero service ah. es servicio. Ah, de, solo de servir. Como servicial. Entonces no. Hospitable. Es... Sería ajá, con otra letra. Pero ok, sí. you can continue. Eh, Efficient. Efficient. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, la otra es loyal. Loyal. Uh -huh. eh, la otra es amusing. Creo que se pronuncia. Amusing. Amusing. Uh -huh. amusing. Ok, Marisela, thank you. Let's see. Rina, are you ready, Rina? Or Rafa, Vladimir, Zulma? Yes, yes sir. You are. Rina, yours is very easy, very short name. 
Only four letters. Okay, Gina, tell us. Los dos nombres son cortos. Ajá. Yes, very easy. Well, um, R, um, responsible. Responsible. No. Sí. Mm -hmm. Responsible. Intelligent. Intelligent. Ajá. Noble. Mm -hmm. Authentic. Authentic. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Rina. Okay. okay. Zulma, Vladimir, or Rafa? No, <laughs> not yet. Okay, well, send it to me later in that case. Rafa, Vladimir, or Vladimir, yours is long, right? Vladimir has tiene bastantes letras. Okay, send it to me later, okay, because we have to continue. Okay, so today we continue practicing present continuous. Okay, we continue in unit number three, and this is the objective. You will be able to ask for and provide specific information about future events at your workplace. Uh, Rafa, do you have a comment? Do you have a comment? No, no. no teacher. Ah, okay. All right, no. I thought you were going to. All right. So here we have the first questions about the, the class. Okay, so we will start with Vladimir. Vladimir, talking about this week, what events are taking place at your workplace? This week. Eh, talking. Yes. Taking. Um, like happen. Happening. Events that are happening. Wait, I can. Like this? What events are happening, coming in this week? No. Como que van a pasar. ¿Qué eventos van a pasar? This week, Vladimir. Wow. Mm -hmm. In my job work. Mm -hmm. But yes. um, uh, in, in this moment, um, we preparing to introduction the Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. The Bitcoin, guys. Tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, well, uh, tomorrow uh, we. The capacity training. We the are training. having uh, a training. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh -huh. Yes, the Bitcoin. That is the the most popular topic right now. Y ustedes están emocionados de tener el Bitcoin? Preocupados? Or how do you feel? Pues, uh -huh. eh, this is a big opportunity because it eh, is eh, uh, bueno, es una moneda de cambio bien fuerte que sabiendo invertir eh, genera mucha rentabilidad. Mm. O sea, de que va a darle supuestamente más a uno de lo que ponga. Podría ser, sometimes. Sí, ahí Ajá. más que todo es de, 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 este, de tomar un pequeño curso sobre educación financiera uh -huh. e inversión en la bolsa para que Ajá. realmente uno sepa cuándo invertir y cuándo retirar. Ajá. We need some training. That's true. 
Nehemias, did you have a comment? No, teacher. No. Ah, ok. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Hay que ver qué, qué sigue pasando con el tiempo, si nos parece bien o si no, que vamos a ver qué pasa. Ok, so talking about uh, future events. René, what about you? What about your company? Teleperformance, right? What events are taking place there this week? Um, let me think. Nothing on specific, I guess. Uh, on the company, um, maybe that they are hiring people for the department that I, am, that I am right now. I just have one new partner here. So we training him the, the last week. So pretty much is gonna be ready for, for this week to start working with us. And yeah, I guess that is it. That's the only nothing thing. Nothing new for, yeah, there's nothing new being or wrong big. Mm -hmm. yeah that that's right that's right yeah because hiring well maybe for your department it's not common but in call centers yeah, hiring is is, is all the time right that all the time they are hiring. that's right all the time that's right but 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 for my department is really mm -hmm. really unusual. weird I read uh -huh. unusual because the what they do is training someone from here, but now they are actually taking uh, people from another, for another, uh, from, from the another, outside. Uh, yeah, that's right. They are uh -huh. left them to, to apply to the positions. Uh, so okay. for me it was something new that our boss saying that we're going to have a new, new partner that is come from another CC. So, uh it was like why they are taking people outside they usually uh train and make a training here mm -hmm. that that is last around six months but i guess that is because we actually need people right now mm -hmm. so, so you're going to speed it up yeah that's right okay thank you Rene. uh just sure. one comment you can say it like that we were going to have we Sorry. were going to have. Uh -huh. Okay. We we're going to have. Okay. We Thank you, Rene. Let's You're see. Welcome. Let's continue with Sulma. Are you there, Sulma? Sulma. Hi, Sulma. Okay. So, what? Ah, okay. It's fine. What events are taking place in in your life or daily routine? Like this week for you, Sulma. What events are taking place this week for you? Like Quería social events? Uh huh, for you in this week. Today is Monday, so it could be tomorrow, Friday, on Sunday. Um. No sé, teacher, como... ¿Hay algún evento social que vaya a pasar esta semana? ¿Any social event happening? Eh, eh, sí, a, 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 eh. pero no sé cómo eh, es a finales de, de mes. Hay una campaña de donación de sangre, pero no sé cómo. You can say at the end of the month. But try to use ING. We are having a campaign, for example. At the end of the month, we are having a health. Let's leave it in a general way. A health campaign to collect blood. <laughs> we are having a campaign to collect blood. Okay, that could be one. Any other social event? Algo más? Okay. Sulma? Anything uh, else uh, you can add? No, no. No, okay. 
Thank you, Zulfa, for your comments. Maricela, okay. can you tell me about an event that is taking place and where, where this event is going to take place? Como cuando surgirán los eventos en el lugar de trabajo, dice. Ajá. No cuando, dónde. Dónde. Ajá, social event. Ahorita no hay programados eventos. Nothing new. Ok. Nothing. Igual que Zulma, no hay nada. Que venga. And what about Christmas parties? Did, do you have Christmas parties where you work? Hacen fiestas. Así como de Navidad. In your company. No. No, solo algo. Ah, they give something. Like a basket mm -hmm. with food yeah. and. Okay, that's something. Okay, in that case. We will continue. Let's continue here with the conversation. Okay, I'm going to start and then some of you can, can practice it. So it says, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place well the it staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room rita by the way when are the materials arriving do you know got it yes they are arriving on friday morning but remember this one is annual annual that is the pronunciation of that one and this is i t i t okay so we will start with rina and nehemias rina you are rita this time and nehemias you'll be luis Rina, are you here? Oh no, Rina is not there. Okay, Jani. Can you continue, Jani? Okay. Jani, yeah. you are Rita. Okay. Uh, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. Secretary, I host went to you. confirm some information. Hey Rita, sure tell me. I want to call we are attending the annual conference conference this year and where in the taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Go it. Yes, they are arriving or right. on fr Friday morning. Okay, thank you, Nehemias, and thank you, Jani. I'm just going to help you with some words, Jani. This one is just. Yes. Uh -huh. Please repeat after me. Just. Just. Hey, taking. Taking. Mm -hmm. Taking. And this one is got. That is the way it sounds. Got. Got. Uh huh. Got it. Got it. Yes. Okay. Okay, Jenny. Thank you. And now, Rina, I see you there. <laughs> You were, you were changing your outfit, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry, it's okay. So let's continue with you, Rina and Rafa. Okay. Rina, you are Rita, and Rafa, you are Luis. Okay, Luis, good afternoon. 
This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure. Tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Good, yes, they, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, thank you, Rafael, and thank you, Rina. Very good pronunciation. We will continue now with Katia. Okay, Katia and Vladimir. Katia, you are Rita, and Vladimir, you are Luis. Okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secret secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is, is it taking place? <coughs> well, uh, the its staff is attending at the confer conference in taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arrived? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I'm going to help you with this verb, guys. Uh, please repeat after me. Arriving. Can you try arriving. to say? Uh -huh. Kathy? Arriving. Uh -huh. Arriving. And materials. Materials. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Uh, Katia? I don't hear you, Katia. I don't know why. Something happened with the microphone. But thank you, Katia. We will continue with Rosie. Rosie and Rene. Rene, you are Luis, and Rosie, you start. You are Rita. Okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure. Tell me. I want to know who are um, the conference this year and where is it taking place? Uh, well, the IT staff is attending. And the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Good, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, there you go. Nice job. Thank you, Rene and Daisy. Now, Zulma and Marisela. Zulma, you go first. You are Rita. Marisela, you'll be Luis. Okay. Okay, teacher. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure. Tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where it is taking place? Where the AT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the grad room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials Arriving, do you know? Yes, 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 
they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, thank you, Suma. Thank you, Maricela. I'm going to help you with the pronunciation. This one here is pronounced just. It sounds like oh, just, just. Uh -huh. just. Cool. Correct. Just. And this one sounds like oh, too. Sure. 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 Mm -hmm. sure. And this one sounds like only one sound. Year. Year, year, year. Okay, aquí hay un, un tip. Why? Year. Esa en inglés suena suave, como que fuera una I latina, como que tuvieran esto. Wait. Así suena. Year. O year. you no suena como la Y de nosotros, sino que suena así. You. Es un tono suave que se le da a la Y. O esta, yes, no es yes, sino que fuera como una I latina, yes. Okay, so just, just a tip. And the one that you see here is great. 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 Ajá, en Zulma. Great. Great. Uh -huh. Materials. Material. Materials and arriving. Materials and Material. arriving. arriving. Okay, thank you. With practice, you're going to improve, but your pronunciation is, is going great, getting better and better. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Questions about the vocabulary here? Kathy? Aha. Uh -huh. Taking um, is, viene de la palabra take. Uh, yes, but here is like a phrase take place. Take place is como que dijéramos que está, va a ocurrir o a tomar lugar. Taking place, eso tomará lugar en como que dijéramos algo que va a pasar o a ocurrir. Like the, okay. the, the soccer match. El Salvador versus Canada is taking place on Wednesday. Entonces estoy diciendo que va a pasar. Is taking place on Wednesday. Or the party is taking place on Friday. That is what it means. Okay. Yes. All right. Any other questions? No? Okay, so let's continue. It says figure it out. And we will start with Rafa. It says use the conversation above to help yourself. Are the materials arriving? What are we missing? ¿Qué hace falta ahí, Rafa? On that question. What do you think? Do? Eh, no. <laughs> no. Another possibility. Oh. When? When? Uh, when? Aha. Uh -huh. That yeah, word. When. 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 when are, yes. Yes, that's the word we are missing. Okay, thank you, Maricela and Rafa. And then the other one, Rosie, what do you think? Is attending the conference. What do we need, Rosy? Are you there, Rosy? No? Vladimir and you, what do you think? I'm sorry, one more time. ¿Qué hace falta ahí, Vladimir? What are we missing? What, teacher? Sorry. Where? Eh, no, it's another word. Who? Uh -huh. Aha. 
that who is one. attending? Who, that one, Vladimir. Who, who is attending is the conference? Yes, thank you. And then we have one, one more to go. What do you think, Rina? Is the meeting taking place? No, Vladimir. Can you try? Can you say something, Vladimir? Puede tratar de decir algo? Y si el, el micrófono no estará lejos. Desconectese y vuélvase a conectar. Eso creo que va a arreglarlo. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, sorry, Rina. Yes. Rina is not here in this moment. Oh, ok, Rina. There you are. Ah, okay. Rina, what are we missing in number three? Number three here. Um, what do you think? What are we missing there? I me perdí. No idea. Okay, let's ask for help. Nehemias, can you help her? What can we use? What? Okay. Katia, do you have a comment? Sí, este, no hace referencia a the meeting, um, pero sería where. Yes, hoy sí, Vladimir. Ajá, Katia. Yes, I know it's not there, but we have to try to, to think about one. So the one we choose is where. Where is the meeting taking place? It's taking place in the great room. Okay. So... Correct, thank you. Today, we're going to study a little bit more about questions. We're going to study about questions. Okay, this is the grammar that we are going to study, how to use present continuous with WH questions. Here you have the structure if you want to write it down. We're going to practice WH questions. Okay, that's the one that we will study, WH questions. We have been practicing yes, no questions. Hemos estado practicando más que todo yes, no questions, right? Ahora vamos a practicar WH questions. Here you have the formula or the structure that you need. WH question, verb B, subject, verb plus ing, Complement and question mark. That is the formula that we will use. But I'm going to show you a, a presentation. Here you have the formula too and you have examples. So I think it's better if you look at this one. Okay, here you have the formula. The same formula and you have some examples. Okay. Jenny, can you read example number one, please? Example. Mm -hmm. uh, the what? Mm -hmm. Um, what, what do you what do you eat? The one here, el que ya está acá, Yanni. Con rosado. Can you mm -hmm. read that one? Puede leer el que ya está ahí. Um, el pen. Um, I. Uh -huh. Doing uh, what 
am I doing? Uh -huh, that is the question. And you have the structure there, WH question, verb B, you have the subject, and you have the verb plus ing. And the complement, right? You can use the complement. Thank you, Yanni. Uh, Sulma, can you read example number two, please? Okay, teacher, where is he going? Mm -hmm. Oh, and the last one, the last one too. Uh, who are you meeting? Who are you meeting? Okay, thank you. So as you can see here, you have different options. You can use what, where, why, who, how, how many, how much, which, when, where, there are many, many options. So we start with the one we have here. Okay, who? When do we use who? We use who to ask about a person. That is the moment we use who. Examples. Okay, who se utiliza cuando queremos saber la persona, verdad? Y seguimos la estructura, aunque en cierto sentido esta varía un poco, ¿verdad? Porque no sabemos el sujeto, así que no lo colocamos. You only use the verb be. Who is, who is eating? In, who is eating dinner in this moment? Okay, quiero saber. La persona who is eating dinner in this moment, who is um, watching, who is watching TV in your house? Okay, la respuesta va a ser la persona. Who is watching TV in your house? My mom. That could be the answer. My mom is watching TV. My mom is watching TV. My sister is watching TV. Okay, so for example, Nehemiah, who is watching TV in your house? My family. Your family are watching TV. Okay, thank you, Nehemiah. So that is the answer. Let me scroll down. Let's take a look to the next one. Okay, why? We use why to ask for reasons. Okay. Why are you laughing? Because this is funny. Okay, why? We want to know reasons. Para saber razones. Why? Utilizamos why. And then you ask the question. Why are you studying English? Why are you studying English in the night, for example? And then the answer. I'm studying English because I want to live in the USA in the future. Okay, this is the reason. Y aquí dan su razón. Okay, I'm studying English because I want to live in the US in the future. Okay. Why? Is there something you want to ask in this moment? No sé si tienen alguna duda. Something you would like to ask? No? Okay. I'm, I'm going to scroll down. Okay. Mm, here you have other questions. Here you have other questions like the one you see here, question number one. What are they watching? Question number two. 
Where is he standing? Question number three. Why is he leaving? Or question number four. Who are you sitting with? There you have some ideas and we will practice, okay? We will practice or study how to create these, these questions. I'm just going to give you a moment if you want to take notes and then I'm going to help you with this. Uh, ready? No sé si puedo quitar ya esto. Yes? No, ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Me avisan. Okay, Roxy. So now let's go back to the whiteboard. Okay, so this is the structure. Here you have the structure and you have different options. What, where, when, why, how, what time, time, mm. who, who with, mm. which, okay, many options. Depending on the information that you want to know, you have to select different options. Depende de qué es lo que ustedes quieren saber, tienen que seleccionar la, la WH pertinente, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero saber el lugar de algo, tendría que utilizar where. Y siempre seguir la estructura, ¿verdad? Que notan en la parte superior. Esta es la estructura para present continuous. Y ya hablamos la semana pasada de cuándo utilizamos present continuous. Ok, entonces yo quiero saber el lugar donde va a pasar algo. Where are you receiving the class? Where are you receiving, um, I'm going to be more specific, your English class, your English class. Utilizo where porque la información que quiero saber es el lugar. Así que ese es el que tengo que utilizar. Ok, so what would you say, Rafa? ¿Cómo contestaría la pregunta, Rafa? Where are you receiving your English class? Oh, the microphone, Rafa, I don't hear you. I receive. I'm receiving. I receiving. Uh -huh. My class English in the. In, uh -huh. esa sería la preposition que tendríamos que utilizar. In the, in the, The bat in, in room, in room, <laughs> no, but okay. Room, no. okay, in my bedroom. Okay, thank you, Rafa. Bedroom. Bedroom, sí. Okay, and Katia, what about you? Where are you receiving your class? <clears throat> I receiving my class in. My bedroom something. <laughs> okay. Katia is receiving her class in her bedroom. 
to. ¿Ok? Y cambio el verb to be, ¿verdad? Porque ya estoy hablando de una tercera persona. Así que ya lo modifico. Ok, si yo quiero saber cuándo va a pasar algo, entonces tendría que utilizar when, right? When. Uh -huh. When are you going to the beach? When are you going to the beach? Y hemos dicho que podemos utilizar present continuous para future activities, ¿verdad? Así que puedo utilizarlo. I can say the answer. I'm going to the beach in December. In December. What about you, Rene? When are you going to the beach? When are you going to the beach? When? Uh, mm -hmm. I think that. Let me see. Actually, is 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 um. Are, I hardly ever go to the beach, whatever. I usually go when some friend is, 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 is having his birthday. Uh, ah, like okay. So you have no idea. Yeah, when exactly. You're going when to the beach. Is, is, yeah, that's right. Okay. But let's gonna say that I'm going to the beach in summer. Mm hmm next summer, like next mm -hmm. year. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Rene. Okay, so you can use any, any um, structure you want to. Aquí está la structure que vamos a utilizar. Solo que recuerden que con which, no sé si se recuerdan en simple present, vimos que la estructura cambia un poco. Luego de which, tienen que mencionar el objeto, ¿verdad? Del que estén hablando. Which, y luego va un noun. Esta es la única parte que varía. De ahí todo sigue igual. Which, um, I will use the phone. Which cell phone, y ya aquí ya va normal. Are you buying uh, on, on black, Friday. Which cell phone are you buying on Black Friday? And then you answer. I'm buying an iPhone on Black Friday. Okay, and that's the answer, which is un poquito distinto. Solo eso cambia. Que tenemos que poner ahí de qué hablamos. Okay, let's, we have to practice, but is there something you would like to ask about this? Okay, can you give me one example, please? The example and the answer. Una pregunta con su respuesta, please. You can choose any, any of them. Pueden utilizar cualquiera de estos. What, where, when, why, how. What time, who, which, and you can say it or you can send it by chat. Piensen en uno, en una pregunta y la pueden enviar en el chat o la pueden decir. And let me know when you are ready. Teacher, mm -hmm. podría yes. decir what, what are you driving? Mm -hmm. And the answer, Rafa. Mm, I drive in my car. Yes. Or it could be I'm driving my sister's car. I'm driving my friend's car. Yeah, ya cambia, ¿verdad? But yes. Okay, Rafa, the question is correct. Thank you. Who else is ready? Teacher. Yes. 
podría ser When is your day off? When is your day off? Pongamos la acá y veamos, Rosy. When is your day off? Si la vemos y revisamos la estructura, ¿tendrá todas las partes, Rosy? Le hace falta. ¿Qué le haría falta? ¿O por qué cree que le hace falta? Le hace falta el verbo, uh -huh. el sujeto. Uh -huh. Es una, es una pregunta utilizando el verb be, pero se está utilizando el verb be en otra área. Solo como el verb be, no como algo que sea una acción. Ah, ok. Ajá. Piensa en otra, Rosy. Ok. Let me know. Ok, let's see, Nehemías. Who are you going to the beach with? Ajá. That one is correct. Who are you? Going to the beach way. And just the answer, what is the answer, Nehemiah? And what would be the answer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Okay, René, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so René, I got your message. The question is correct, but if you see, you are using simple present. Um, it's not present continuous. So it's using... like I'm going. So instead of say I want to go, is I'm going to go. How would you say it? The whole thing. Uh, I going no. If you I'm want going. to, I can give you time so you can fix it. Look at the structure. Mm -hmm. Look what you want to say and, and let me know okay. when you have changed sure. it. Okay, All thank right. you. I'm going to the beach with my family. Uh -huh. That's the answer. Y han enviado al grupo, ¿verdad? Let me see. Ah, no. Oh, está lloviendo. Uh -huh. Zulma no me escucha. Ok. Ok. Who else is ready? Zulma. Me escucha, Zulma. No. 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 Ok. Le voy a escribir acá. Mm. Okay, is there anybody else ready? Why are you speaking English? Because I'm practicing. Aha, uh Katia, -huh, that's a good answer. Oh, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance really quick. Y entiendo si algunos no me escuchan por la lluvia. Okay, so let's see. Daisy, Daisy Mesquita. Then it is Joanna. Jennifer Marcela, Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Jose Mario, Lisette del Carmen, Maricela del Carmen, Minet Rivera, Nehemías Regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto, and Nelson René, Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you, René Guardado and Rina Espinosa. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Rosy Melendez. Vladimir Antonio. Present. Thank you. Yanira Cepeda and Zulma Lopez. Okay. Uh, present. Vladimir. Present. Thank you, Jani. Do you have your example, Vladimir? The question and the answer. Tenía uno, pero no, no estoy muy seguro de si llegar a la ciudad. ¿Cuál es el que usted tiene? Eh, eh, which are you favorite movie? Mm, es distinto. Ajá. Eh, Vladimir, eh, recuerde. Perdón. Recuerde el uso, Vladimir, el uso que le estamos dando a, a present continuous. Lo utiliza si está hablando de algo que está pasando ahorita o si algo va a pasar en el futuro. En su pregunta es algo como distinto, no es de una acción que esté pasando ahorita o que vaya a pasar. Entonces tiene que ser una actividad, Vladimir, algo que vaya a pasar o algo que esté pasando okay. ahorita. Podría ser eh, which, eh, which are you movies to watch? Which movies or which movies yes. Are you watching? Sería así. Por ejemplo, podría decir, which movie is your wife watching? Quedaría así. Tiene que ir subject en complemento. ¿Qué okay, quedaría así? Let's see. Yanni, when are you going to the supermarket? Solo que ahí, Yanni, en la pregunta ya no le ponga tomorrow, porque si usted pone tomorrow, está contestando cuándo. Solo sería, when are you going to the supermarket? I'm going to the supermarket tomorrow. Ah, ok. Ajá, ahí le pondríamos eso. René, okay. did you think about the, the question? Did you modify it, René? Are you there to me? Yes, uh, I I was thinking that I will say it. I would like to go to Canada on my next vacation. Mm, está bien, ajá, está bien, solo que es con otras estructuras. Ahí René está okay. utilizando wood, que es, de hecho, vamos a estudiarlo la próxima, no, esta semana. Pero, okay, okay. René, it has to be about an activity that is happening right now or an activity that is going to happen. Can you think about oh, an right. activity, oh. any verb? Playing. Okay, playing. Okay, so this is the activity and do you want it in, in something happening now or a future activity? It's gonna happen in the future. Okay, so you have to follow the structure. First, if it has to be, if you want it to be a place, a reason, let's choose a reason. Okay, so mm -hmm. we have why. And then you have to use the verb be. Why are, and then the structure says you have to use subject. Why are you? Why are we? Let's use we. Why are we? And now the mm -hmm. verb playing soccer. Okay. Or why? Okay, let's talk about this, about La Selecta. Why is, and I will use La Selecta, playing soccer in Canada next Wednesday. Okay, entonces asocio el uso del verb eh, de present continuous 
y ya lo asocio con una activity. Ahora, si usted ve esta, esta estructura, René, ya tiene uh -huh. present continuous. Ya lleva el verbo con ing, lleva el is, complement, y hasta ahí todo. If you can think about another one, René, I will appreciate it. So I can see this structure in your question. Okay, right. so think about one. Okay, so we will continue. The idea is that we continue practicing. So I'm going to share with you this. And this is something that we will do together. Okay, we will do it here, but we will use the chat. Okay, so here you have the activities this person is doing. Saturday at 10, meet cousin at the airport. I think it's 1, right? 1 p.m., drive around town. 3 p.m., introduce cousin to friends. Uh, 4 p.m., volleyball. Then 8 p.m., dinner party at home. Sunday activities at 10, take cousin to the zoo. At 1, lunch at Hard Rock Cafe. At 3 p.m., video games at Mike's house. At 4, dinner at the local pub. This is like a um, like, um, bar club. That is a local pub. It's a club. And then at 8, cinema at the shopping center, at the mall. You have to use present continuous to complete the sentences. Tienen que utilizar este calendario, o si sí sería como un calendario, ¿verdad? como horario. And you have to use present continuous. Por ejemplo, aquí dice, so your cousin arrived this Saturday. I have to create the question. ¿Cuál podría ser? Do you have an idea? Tenemos que completarlo utilizando present continuous. Who has an idea about number one? Why? Why? Mm, ok, podríamos utilizar ese. Another possibility, la que yo tenía en mente, solo con, con, uh, solo, just no question. Is your cousin arriving this Saturday? O podría ser why? Or what time is your cousin arriving this Saturday? Okay, so ya tienen ahí el verbo en paréntesis. Tienen que pensar en qué utilizar. Okay. In about four minutes, we will check together. En unos cuatro minutos vamos a revisar juntos las respuestas. You have to use present continuous. Es solo con present continuous. Do you have a question? Do you understand the activity? Sí, uh -huh. eh, no ha compartido ese documento. Ah, se los mando. Ok, como se los iba a mostrar acá, por eso no lo envié. Ah, okay. ok. but give me a moment. Que lo tengo que cerrar primero acá. Eh, ya se los mando. Okay, I'm sending it now. Ya casi llega. And I will share it here. Siempre lo voy a compartir acá, pero ahí lo pueden descargar también. 
Okay, uh, there it is. Did you have a question, Katia? No sé si iba a preguntar algo, Katia. No. No, okay. So in a few minutes, we check them. Los revisamos juntos en un ratito. But try to, to answer it in the moment. Hello, Marce. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Ah, okay, I'm glad to hear that. Marce, we are practicing present continuous. Okay, we are practicing questions. So here you have the, the worksheet for you to complete. In about two minutes, we will do it together. Estamos practicando un presente continuous. Present continuous, Mars. Eh, ahorita más que todo preguntas. Sus classmates están contestando. Contestando este worksheet. Así que si se les quiere unir, puede, puede comenzar. Pero eso es así individual, teacher, no es en los grupos. Uh -huh. No. Ah, eh, vale. Together. Bien. Okay, one by one, we will do it together. Okay, let's start with Nehemias. Okay, Nehemias, can you help us with number two? Uh, that's right, we are meeting in at the airport at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Then we are taking a drive around town so that he can see the drive. Yes, uh -huh. those are the answers. Okay, thank you, Rene. Let's continue with Jani, number three, Jani. Mm, teacher, aún no la tengo. ¿Cómo cree que iría? Revisando la estructura que le di. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué, ¿Qué haría falta, falta antes de he, del sujeto? Eh, eh, em, wait, where, em, si no, véalo en su notebook. Vea la estructura ahí en su notebook, Jenny. Mm -hmm. 
¿Qué tenemos que poner eh, antes del sujeto? Eh, who? Mm. De los verbos, de los... Mm. Te lo voy a mostrar acá. Ok, here you have the structure, Jenny. Aquí está la estructura. Mm. Mire lo que va acá. B. Antes del sujeto vamos a colocar el verb B. Podríamos agregar una WH question, but it's not necessary. Entonces, ¿qué verb B tendría que ir aquí? Am, is, or are, Jenny. Con he, ¿cuál va? Eh, el, el que me acaba de mostrar, el B. Pero, ¿qué forma del verb to be? Porque hay tres formas. O sea, is, are y am. ¿Con he cuál va? Ah. Is. Va is. Con, sí. con he. ¿Y ahora qué hay que poner? Is he? Eh, Estadim. en el verbo con ing. Is he staying at your workplace? Y ahí está. Uh -huh. Ok, Jani. No me había ido. <laughs> It's ok. Let's continue with Rina, number four, please. Ok. He is soon in the afternoon. I am mm -hmm. introduce, introducing, 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 yes, introducing. Uh -huh. I am introducing him to my him friends. To my friend, and then we are playing. Uh -huh. And then we are playing volleyball together. Okay, Rina, that's the structure. Thank you. Okay, let's continue, Maricela. Maricela, can you hear me? Maricela, do you hear me? ¿Qué dice? Me escucha, Maricela. Ahorita sí. Okay, number five. Send it in the chat. Hello, William. And what are you doing? Doing, uh huh. What are you doing? That's correct. Thank you, Maricela. Rene, number six. Are you there, Rene? Yes, I was thinking how to say, okay, we are having a dinner party with the whole family on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. We are taking him to the aquarium and then we are having lunch mm -hmm. at the Howard Rock Cafe. After that, he, after that, he, Coming. He, uh, he's and coming. And the Aha. He's. To Mike's house with the. With me to play video games. Correct. Just okay. this word that you mentioned here is hold. That is the, the pronunciation. Hold. Hold. Yes. Hold. It sounds like, like a, J. Not really like W. Hold. Hold. Mm -hmm. Yes. With the whole Don't lie, family. Lie. 
como hoyo. Ajá, it sounds la in the same way. The oh, same pronunciation. So okay. the W is mute. Correct, it's silent. So with the whole family. Mm -hmm. With the whole family. We're having a dinner party with the whole family. Yes, and the structures are correct. Okay, then thank you. Let's see. Rosy, number seven, Rosy. Seria, that sounds good. It is a standard line. Correct, because it is a question, right? So we have to change it. Is he living on Sunday night? Okay, Rafa, number eight. And then we continue with Katia, number nine. He doesn't live in. Just, just present continuous. Doesn't belongs to simple present. Do and does on the otro tiempo, Rafa. Do and does. ¿Cómo lo haría el negativo? Acá. He's not living. Uh -huh. Correct. He's not or he isn't He's living. Not. Yes, because right now we're just practicing present continuous. Continue. Until next week, in fact, we are having dinner. Having dinner. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. At the local pub, and then we are going to the cinema in the evening. Yes, thank you. Katia, can you continue, please? Mm, no, number nine, mm -hmm. number nine. I can't. I, I am studying, studying. With Fiona, mm -hmm. we have a test on Monday. And are you visiting? Visit, visiting. Visiting. Uh -huh. Visiting. <laughs> visiting there in Holland next year. Holland. That's the way Holland. you can say it. Holland. Yes. Yes, Katia. Thank you. All right. And can you try with the next one, uh, Daisy? No sé si quiere probar con la última. Eh, I am, bueno, sería yes, it's all, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? A range, it's all a range. A range. I am spending next mm -hmm. summer at the house in, mm -hmm. in Amsterdam. Yes, I am spending, okay? Thank you. So there you have it. Do you want to ask something about it? No sé si quisieran preguntarme algo acerca de esto. Teacher, yes. este, ¿verdad que en study eh, termina en Y, pero como la, la, la letra que está anterior es una consonante, entonces no se modifica. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, por eso no lo hacemos. Okay. Any other questions? No. Ok, so we have to continue. And guys, remember we are practicing present continuous. Recuerden la fórmula que estamos practicando, present continuous. We have two uses. Ya vamos a ver otro pronto, otro uso para que se entretengan y no se aburran. But for now, present continuous is for present activities happening in this moment and future activities. Okay, I'm going to share the book. Vamos a trabajar en una activity in the book. Page 34, vamos a ir a page 34, no, 32, I think it is, yes, page 32, think about three events you have, 
Think about three events you have coming. Algunos dijeron que casi no tienen eventos para esta semana. Así que si no tienen para esta semana, piensen para el más cercano. Tres eventos, o cosas sociales, planes, plans, I don't know. Anything happening to you. Algo que les esté pasando, vaya a pasar, perdón, vaya a pasar o en el trabajo, en su vida privada o en el trabajo. Three, three activities at least. For example, I am going to the doctor next month. Okay, it's a future event. Sería un evento futuro. Piensen en tres sobre ustedes o que tengan que ver con su trabajo. Okay. My company, this is a, another idea. My company is having a party on October 31st, on Halloween. Okay, my company is having a party. Okay, three events. And remember, <clears throat> present continuous. That's the one we are using, present continuous. You have three minutes, one minute per event. Tienen tres minutos, un minuto por cada oración. Hello, is everyone ready? No. Okay, an extra minute. All of you? You have two. Yes. Okay, two more minutes. Two more minutes, no problem.
Finish, teacher. Excellent. Okay, let's continue. In this moment, I'm going to send you to our room and you have to read your three sentences to your classmates. Los voy a enviar a, a un room para que ahí por turnos lean sus oraciones. Okay? And if there are mistakes, you can help yourself. Y si hay errores, verdad, nos podemos ayudar entre todos. Okay? So please accept the invitation and I'll visit you. Like three or four minutes. Vamos a estar ahí three or four minutes y yo voy a llegar a escucharlos un momento. Hola, bien, bien acá, mire, queriendo terminar la tercera. <ríe> eh, bueno, entonces es de decir, le voy a decir las que tengo, como las he estructurado. Eh, ¿Sí? My company, my uh -huh. company. We, we had occupational training next week. Training next week. Training. Train, eh, que tendremos una, un entrenamiento. Eh, la otra. Um, I have a mini on the west miércoles Wednesday. Esa es la que Maria, tengo. I have a mini. I had a mini on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Mm, no sé si usted ya tiene. Las suyas. No sé. Eh, aquí estoy dudando porque creería yo que íbamos a ocupar. Eh, eh, ¿Qué se dice? El, eh, en la. En la o sea, eh, pero. Present. Present continuo. Ajá. Um, sorry to interrupt. Jani, solo una pregunta. ¿Usted puede quedarse ahora para la sesión privada? Sí. Ah, ok. Yo tengo unos comentarios, pero le puedo ayudar. Vamos a, a practicar un poquito más en la sesión, porque ah, se okay. me olvidó enviarlo más temprano. Pero, ajá. Continue, continue sharing them. And ya cuando toque la sesión, yo, yo le ayudo un poquito más, Jani. Okay. But yes, Lena, you can you can continue sharing yours and Lena. Okay, yes. I just 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 I don't know if I'm wrong, but it, this is a like like activities that we are going to do. Yes. Or something that is going to happen. For example, I have one here that I I don't quite sure it is correct. It said uh, we are going to celebrate my son's birthday on October sixth. It is correct, but try to use just present continuous. We are celebrating. Like okay. use this other way to, to talk about future. So instead of the, instead of use the going to, is mm -hmm. we are celebrating. Mm -hmm. Celebrating. Okay. My son's birthday. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Por estar escuchando y leyendo a la misma vez me equivoco. Es que escribió Rosy en el grupo que la había dejado afuera y yo estaba escuchando acá. Entonces le dije Daisy y ahí sale el nombre. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, no soy buena así en multitasking. Ah, come on. Mm -hmm. You sure? 
<laughs> I should, but it's still mm -hmm. hard like to read and to listen at the same time. Yeah, it's, true. it's, it's difficult. Okay, do you have the next one, Rene? Um, I'm visiting a doctor the next month. One more time. I'm mm -hmm. visiting uh -huh. a doctor the next month. That is not necessary, Rene. You can omit I'm it. Visiting doctor. Uh, this is a doctor the next month. Uh -huh, or the doctor. Or next month. You're talking about a specific one. Okay. Next month. Okay. It's, it's, Okay, I'm going to let you continue and in about one minute, we will go back to the main room. Okay. okay see you. you in a moment. Alguna celebración? Uh, Hi. Hi, no teacher. Siento, Hi, Rosy. Hi, <laughs> estaba, estaba escuchándolos a ellos y como Rosy y Daisy terminan en, en así con I, por eso como que, no sé, me confundo. Siempre me dice Daisy. Ah, siempre, en todos los grupos, siempre hay alguien al que tengo que confundir. En otro grupo tenía a Teresa y Yesenia y nada que ver los nombres. Nada que yo, ver. yo siempre confundía a Yesenia y a Teresa. Otro que se llamaba Roberto y... Ay, se me ha ido el nombre, pero no tienen nada que ver. Y yo no sé por qué hay siempre, siempre hay uno que yo voy a confundir. Sorry. Ok, ¿cómo va? Sí. Yes, did you finish? Ya pasaron todos acá. Sí. Eh, sí, solo tenía una duda. Aquí. Ajá. Eh, les decía que yo tengo la juramentación ante el Consejo de Vigilancia, en las oficinas del Consejo de Vigilancia la siguiente semana, pero... No juramentación. Sé cómo Ajá, uh -huh. I am taking our what in the council office. Yes, uh -huh. you can say it like that. Because uh, O, O, like O, o A, T, H, si no me equivoco, sí, es sí, lo sí. de juramento o uh -huh. juramentar. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, it is correct. Do you have any other questions? No. No. Okay. Well, let's return to the main room because we still have other activities. So I'll see okay. you there. Hi. So we will continue practicing and now we will continue here on the book. Page 36. We will go to page 36. Okay, here, point number four. We have to complete the questions using what you have in parentheses, okay? Like here, you have the subject and the verb and you have to structure or elaborate the question. What company are you working? How? And then you have to use he and divide and create a question. Okay, so that is what you have to do. Page 36. Page 36. I'll give you one or two minutes and then we check it together.
Okay, sorry to interrupt. Now we continue together. Okay, we continue together. Number two, Marcela. What is the question? Number two. How are you div dividing? Dividing. Dividing the group. Thank you. Just the subject, Marcel. Change the subject. How dividing no is way. correct, but you is not. And that's why you have to change the verb and the subject. Ah, le íbamos a dejar el que dice ahí en el paréntesis. Yes. Uh, who, who, who is he? Is he? How yes. Is he? That's the one. So how is he dividing? Okay, thank you, Mars. That's the way you should have it. Number two, Katia. Number three. When is she handing the hmm? When is she handing? Handing the checks. Yes, handing or hand can be a verb. I know hand, this is the noun, right? Hand, but it could be a verb. When you give something with your hands, you hand something i'm going to hand i'm handing my phone you give but with your hands hand the test is that pero con las manos this is hand como acción como verb thank you katia that's the one i'm sorry okay. you say handing is something that you give with your own hands the action of giving with your hands using your hands she handed me the money yesterday you can okay. use it in any tense. All right. Mm -hmm. Teacher, no entendí muy bien esa parte. Ah, ok. Hand. Hay muchas palabras que pueden ser verbos y pueden ser nouns. Por ejemplo, hand mm -hmm. es esto, ¿verdad? Pero sí, lo podemos uh -huh. utilizar como una acción, como un verbo. Como, un, como una acción, hand es cuando usted da algo utilizando las manos. Eso es hand. Eh, como puede dar un test. I'm going to hand you, hand you the test. Doy, pero con las manos. En un verbo uh -huh. sería hand. Por eso aquí es handing. She is handing uh -huh. checks. Yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Es como milk también. Creo que ya les he mencionado, ¿verdad? Milk, water. Son, son palabras, pero también son verbos. Se pueden utilizar como verbos. Meal uh, es no. ordeñar y water es regar como verbos. Y también pueden ser una cosa. Ok, <laughs> let's continue. Number four. Uh, let's see. Let me check. Katia. No, Katia, you have just participated. Ok, Rina. Which factory? Which factory is your boss visiting this month? Uh -huh. Is your boss visiting? Visiting. Correct. Thank you, Rina. And Jani, the last one, Jani. Why? Okay. Uh, the tengo. Why in why? Is the new secretary mm -hmm. working? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the, Why is the new? The next sa 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 Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Saturday. So it will be like this. Why is the new secretary working? Working. Okay. Thank you, Yanni. That's the one. Okay, Thank do you. you have other questions? Questions that you would like to ask? Doubts? No? 
Okay, the last activity that we had was a, a conversation. Esa era la última actividad que teníamos, una conversation, pero debido al tiempo la vamos a hacer un poco distinta. Vamos a rifarla. Voy a poner un número en mi mano. Si ustedes lo adivinan, van a hacerla conmigo. Vamos a improvisar. Ustedes van, we go with the flow, ¿ok? Pero solo el ganador del número. Ok, so, I have a number. Si ustedes me lo dicen, les toca. Ok, Rosy, tell me a number from 1 to 10. Del 1 al 10. Hay 10 posibilidades, 9 posibilidades que no. ¿Cuál es el número? 4. No. Ok, thank you. Nehemías, number. Two. Mm -mm. Rafa. One. No. Rina. <laughs> Just activate the microphone, Rina. Sam. No. Ok, Jani. <clears throat> A number, please. Three. No. Daisy? Sí. Yes. <laughs> Number six. Okay, Daisy. Go with the flow. Sígame, okay? Hi, Daisy. How are you? Hi, hi. And you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. What are you doing tomorrow in the morning? I am. Uh, sorry. Uh, I am. No. Uh, I am. Aha, uh -huh, I am. I am uh, cooking my my breakfast. Oh, okay. What time are you cooking your breakfast? Uh, uh, at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Yes. Okay. Okay, Daisy, I have to go. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, we still have time for one more. Todavía tenemos tiempo para uno más. Katia, please tell me a number from 1 to 10. 8. Mm, no, Marisela. A number, please. Um, three? No. Marcela? A number? Seven. No. Rene? Nine. Mm -mm. Nehemias? Four? No. Okay. Eh, Rosy. Ya ni sé cuál es Andy. 8, 1, 7, 9. Esos son los que ya dijeron. 8, 1, 7, 9, and 4. 5. No. Rafa. 1. Yes. Number 1. No. Ok. Ok, you are the winner. Okay, so Rafa, where are you going on Saturday? Uh, I I going to Saturday to uh, visit my family. Why? Um, I uh, I have in uh, three days um, the novel. Tengo como tres días de novel. Okay. Um, it will be I haven't seen them in a long time. Sería utilizando otro tiempo. A long time. Pero podría decir I don't see them often. Podría utilizar un, uh, un frequency adverb. I don't see them okay. often. Ajá. Uh -huh. What time are you leaving on Saturday? What time are you leaving or going to visit your family? 
visiting your family? Oh, I, at uh, 5 p.m. Mm, okay, in the evening. Yes. Okay, sounds good. I hope you can enjoy with your family. Yes, uh, I enjoy. With my fathers, with and your parents, my mothers, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, Rafa, very good, very good. You understood. Thank you. So I'm going to take the attendance. You, okay, thank you. I'm going to take the attendance, and then I'm going to stay with with Jani. And tomorrow I send it by chat. Eh, mañana les mando ya el horario para los que aún no han tenido su sesión. Okay, so we will start with Daisy Yesenia. Thank you. It is Joanna. Jennifer Marcela. Present. Thank you. Jose Mario. Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Minette. Present. Thank you. Minette Rivera. Nehemias Regalo. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you. René Guarda. Present. Rosy Meléndez. Present teacher. Okay. Vladimir Antonio. Yanira Cepeda, en Zulma. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Well, in this moment, you are free to go. Please try to come tomorrow. Por favor, traten de venir mañana. Vamos a ver otro uso de, de present continuous. Así que todavía faltan cosas <laughs> que ver. Okay, have a, a good day. Enjoy the rest of it. Sweet dreams. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank bye you, bye. Teacher. You're See welcome. You tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you, Maricela. Bye, bye, bye. Jenny. Bye, Daisy. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Okay, Jani. ¿Qué tal vamos, Jani? Hola, Hi, teacher. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo, um, ¿Cómo va? Eh, bien, ahorita no, personal mío, ya bien. Y eh, eh, sí siento que hay cositas, teacher, que sí me, me está costando como entender. Uh -huh. en, ¿En qué le puedo el, ayudar el... para que se sienta más eh, uh -huh. confiada? Que como esté que más no... Segura? Vaya, cuando nos pone a hacer el, el um, las oraciones, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Este y todo, y estamos, o sea, sí logro entender uh -huh. eh, y las estructuro, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí con bastante así como dificultad en el aspecto de, 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 de los hacer esa conjugación de lo, del el verbo, el sujeto con el Uh -huh. el, el complemento, entonces como que, o sea, sí lo entiendo, pero como que le cuesta. Le, ajá. Y de, de, de este el le entendí rápido por el, el, el ING ahora de, de, sobre este tipo de, uh -huh. de agregárselo. Uh -huh, pero, pero es, este eso como, como esa estructura me cuesta Ajá. No, entiende pero le logro. cuesta Ajá. o sea sí sí le entiendo o sea lo, logro pero en el momento como que no como sé, que necesita me... bastante concentración para para mm. lograr estructurar vaya como mm -hmm. hemos estado por bastante tiempo o habíamos estado por bastante tiempo practicando simple present Habíamos estado como metiéndole bastante a otra estructura, pero se llegó el tiempo, uh -huh. ¿verdad? De comenzar a modificarlo y aprender otro tiempo. Vamos a, a tratar de, 
de recapitular, Yani, para que recordemos uh -huh. y, y verlo poco a poco. Okay. El tiempo que estamos haciendo ahorita, que estamos estudiando, se llama Present Continuous, ¿verdad? Así uh -huh. se llama este tiempo que estamos viendo. El, ajá, el de ahorita. Ahorita. Uh -huh. Antes, si, si, si se recuerda, estábamos viendo Simple Present. Present. Así se llamaba. Uh -huh. Pero la manera en la que utilizamos Present Continuous es distinta. Significa otras cosas. Se recuerda de los dos usos. De las dos maneras en las que usamos Simple pres Present Continuous, Yanni. ¿Cuándo present usted continuous. debería de usar Present Continuous? Eh, cuando es, eh, entiendo como que si vamos a preguntar o vamos a hacer algo como del, del, del futuro, o sea, del, no del presente, del futuro, algo así. Ajá, vaya, tiene dos usos, por decirlo así. Uno, podemos utilizarlo para future events. Puede usarlo para hablar de una actividad que viene, un plan. Futura. Algo futuro. Ese es un uso que usted le puede dar. El otro uso es activities happening in the moment of speaking. El otro uso que es totalmente distinto es cuando uno está describiendo una acción que está sucediendo en ese momento. Por eso ah, es presente, porque es algo que está pasando justamente en ese momento. ¿Sí? Así mm. como ahorita, si yo quiero decir lo que estamos haciendo, tengo que utilizar present continuous, porque ese es el uso que oh. tiene present continuous. Y mm. debo de seguir la estructura que le mencioné. Es mandatorio. Así es la regla. Tendríamos uh -huh. que decir we, porque ese es el sujeto, ¿verdad? Usted y yo nos convertimos en we, nosotros o nosotras. Uh -huh. Y sigue la estructura. We are. Y el verbo de la actividad. Uh -huh. ah. Teacher, sujeto, eh, teacher, sujeto le llama, el sujeto es el we. Sí. Sujeto es I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Ese es el sujeto. Y el verb be, ya ni cuando le diga el verb be, tiene tres formas, como le decía. O sea, el verb be es el nombre, yes. pero se como que, ¿cómo le diría? Se rompe en tres maneras. Tiene uh -huh. derivación. Uh -huh. Hay tres. Está am, is, ¿Sí? y are. Ajá. Vaya, o sea, como, esto. Uh -huh. Es como que sí, yo sí. le diga, yo vivo en El Salvador, pero El Salvador se compone por 14 departamentos. Uh -huh. Entonces, así es el verbi. El verbi es, las, es el país. Pero ya cuando usted va a usarlo, tiene que utilizar un departamento de él. Tiene que utilizar una de las estructuras del verb be. Así como okay. que, ajá, yo vivo en El Salvador, pero, sí, pero ¿dónde? Um, ajá. Ana, Ana, San Salvador. Okay. Entonces, cuando yo le diga el verb be, o sea, sí es el verb be, pero yeah. voy a usar una de esas formas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y trate de repasar si se le olvida cuándo se ocupa am, cuándo se ocupa is y cuándo se ocupa are. ¿Sí se recuerda, Yanni? Este, sí, el, 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 eh, sí. Por ejemplo, is se usa con, con el she. Uh -huh. Is. He, she, it. Y, is. Uh -huh. El ar que se usa para te, where. Uh -huh. You. Entonces, por eso estoy usando aquí are, porque estoy diciendo we. We are speaking in English. Y que le daba este ejemplo porque eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces, si yo quiero decir qué estoy haciendo, 
tengo que utilizar esta estructura. Uh -huh. Siempre va la misma, pero va a cambiar porque hay diferentes sujetos, hay diferentes verbos, hay diferentes complementos, ¿verdad? Y ahí es donde uh -huh. uno ya empieza a jugar con todo. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, ya me queda. Y este de, después del verbi, eh, man, men, ah, ver. el verbo. El verbo principal, porque el verbi es un verbo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero no es el principal. Es solo así, sujeto, verbi, y luego el verbo. El verbo es la actividad, así como aquí es speaking. Eh, speak. Ah, ok. Sería el verbo. Ajá. Y ya lo último que usted ve ahí es el complemento. Ajá, es el complemento. Ok. Entonces, Vaya, ahorita sí, ya así como, o sea, ya, ya, ya. Uh -huh. Así ya lo asocia más. Lo asocio más, cabal, porque como que cuando, digamos, usted nada más una pregunta de el verbo, no sé, yo me quedo. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Pero a veces yo, cuesta, ¿cuál? cuesta, ¿verdad? Con un grupo grande, pero así como ahorita que son, que solo es con usted, yo me puedo enfocar, ¿verdad? Solo en usted. Ah, Ajá, entonces, pero, pero ya, ya, ya eh, tengo apunt el apunte aquí para, para que ya me quede así en, en claro ya el sujeto, porque yo cuando decía sujeto y me acordaba de las oraciones en español, pensaba otra cosa, pero no, <risa> okay. ya, ya, por eso me quedaba ya el sujeto. <risa> entonces, Ay, no. Entonces, Vaya. pero no, teacher, ahora sí. Ya está mejor. Ya, Vaya, sí, en sí. las oraciones que usted hizo, cuando estaba en el grupo con René y con Rina, la estructura uh -huh. no estaba así. Puede leer la uh -huh. primera, Yanni. Vea la primera oración que hizo. Dijo, in the company, we are, y luego dijo de que como que tenían entrenamientos, o no me acuerdo qué. Sí, eh, la, la de ahora, ¿verdad? My ah. company. Eh, yo puse my company, We had occupational training next week. Entonces, ahí la estructura no está bien hecha, por decirlo así, uh -huh. sino que vaya, el sujeto es nosotros. We, sí. y ahora el verbo, verbi, y el verbo es tener. We are having a training, un uh -huh. entrenamiento, ¿verdad? Capacitación. Uh -huh. sí. Sí. We're having a training next uh -huh. week. Y si quiere, puede decir en el trabajo. We're having a uh -huh. training next week in my uh -huh. workplace. Ahora sí estaría bien estructurada. Sí. Porque tenemos que seguir el Porque patrón es una... que pide la oración. Exacto. Ajá, lo que... Lo que... De ese de glosa, de ese de uh -huh. Entonces tiene uh -huh. que saber bien, Jani, quién es el sujeto. Y si usted uh -huh. sabe bien quién es el sujeto, va a poder poner bien el verb to be. Sí, sí, y la luego, verdad que sí. Ajá, tiene que conocer el verbo. Y al verbo le pone ing al final. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El ing porque estamos en lo, en lo, en la, en lo de. Lo de continuo. Ajá, porque así es la estructura. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Y lo de no hay, que, no hay que traducir, porque esto es para futuros eventos. Y si usted lo uh -huh. trata de traducir o interpretar, uh -huh. eso se vale raro. No se entiende como futuro para el español. Entonces, uh -huh. inglés es inglés, español es español, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, Pero ahorita uh -huh. usted tiene que cambiar el chip, por así decirlo, y pensar uh -huh. en inglés. Puede uh -huh. tratar de ponerse una tarea personal de aprenderse la estructura. Yep. Uh -huh. sí. Mañana todavía seguimos con Present Continuous, Jani. Entonces okay. todavía le va a servir. ¿verdad? Y le va a servir sí. en el futuro uh -huh. porque estas son las bases. Y de ahí se le va agregando más cosas, más dificultades uh -huh. a las clases. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto, teacher, pero sí, ya me quedó claro, bien claro eso. Ok, Jan, me alegra. Uh -huh. Entonces vamos a perfecto, terminar acá. Teacher. 
Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Gracias. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nos vemos.